Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another daily video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is, you know, since the Colossus dungeon actually came out yesterday, what I want to do is actually talk a little bit about team building and also my plans for my team uh, going into the future. So there's a few things we learned from the dungeon. I might as well do one run. Um, I can't do B5, like B B5 is just crazy hard, but I can, I can do B4. Um, the, one of the main reasons why I can't do B5 is basically if I don't have attack down on the boss, I just die. Like I, I just immediately, like somebody gets chunked, I don't have enough sustain, and I, I pretty much get wrecked. So um, there's just no way for me to brute force it. Like most of my monsters are just damage dealers, nukers, aggressors. I don't really have any sort of um, you know reliable debuffers, and the only way you can kind of beat him I think is to rely on your debuffs to make sure you put attack down on him um, you know put blind and maybe even taunt I think taunt might actually really be a thing because taunt also is like another um, bonus attack down or something like that um, another thing we're going to do later is I wanted to test out to see if um, stacking taunt and attack down can actually get me better results so I guess we'll We'll do one test run of um, B4 because you know mo most of my monsters aren't really strong enough for B5. So for B4, it's mostly wood. Um, I'm going to actually not instead of using my aggressors, I'm going to use my fire damage dealers, and I think this should be pretty good. Uh, this one, I don't think I really need this. I can put in put in this fire verde that i was using yesterday uh, she's only five stars but i did get some pretty decent gems on her and she's currently evil evil two one also can't auto this um i think the recommendation is actually to kill the thing on the side so i'm going to try to put attack down on the boss and then we're going to just uh do a lot of damage as much as we can And then since he has attack down now, I'm going to try to armor break everything. Okay, this pretty lucky. This thing got armor broken. Um, I think my Jin should be able to finish him off. And I'll use these two to hit this thing on the side. Now, I think the goal or the general strategy that I'm getting, um, this is kind of for most of the floors. I'm not really sure. Is You don't want these things to, to buff the boss because they either have shield or some really, really annoying debuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually just going to use this combo damage to kill the thing on the side and then see if I can stack another attack down on him. Okay, now since I st stacked the attack down on him, I wanted to, I, I think I can change teams now. This way he still has like a two turn attack down debuff and then I'm going to try to armor break him. And then I'll go with the Verde, uh, basically these three combo damage and the, the Verde will try to put blind on the boss. Uh, lucky. Oh dang, he got the blessing. I didn't time that very well. Come on, please put blind. Ooh, he might crit and kill me. That retribution is going to do quite a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to switch back, and I'm going to I'm going to try to put attack down on him again. Oh my god, he resisted. So I know we'll we'll do some combo damage on his face. Ooh, that that thirst. I think I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked if I don't put attack down on him this turn. Oh shit. I think somebody's dead. Mm, he might die from retribution. Alright, I'm gonna just let this team die. It's... Dang. I actually failed. So sad. Thirst is quite annoying. I'm, I'm actually going to change teams. I'm going to try to armor break them. See if I can uh, 
Put some put some nice damage on his face. Please, Indra, don't die. Survive this. Oh my god. I need her to survive as well. Alright, she's gonna do some damage. Because she has fire. Then create a strike against the boss. Ooh shit. You know you know I'm actually really unlucky. I never got the I never got the shield on my Cupid. It was rather unfortunate. Alright, I'm, I'm actually just gonna nuke him with a uh, creative strike. Please live. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna try to put as much damage as I can on my with my Cupid on him before, before I switch to my succubus and he, with her self sustain. Might be able to finish him off. Alright, this will last me two more turns. And then... I'm gonna kill him. Okay, I think I, I think I got him. Oh wait, shit! This retribution might kill me. Okay, I'm dead. It's all up to you now. Come on, I just need just survive this turn. You win. Whew! All right. You know, I actually think uh, self-sustaining monsters are actually pretty good for him for for fighting Colossus because they he does he does quite a lot of damage and oh shit you know this gem actually sells for quite a lot gem of zeal what does gem of zeal do I think it gives extra extra damage but sacrifices defense or something like that um. All right, that was just that was just a test run. Uh, that's that's one of the things I wanted to test out. The other thing I wanted to test out is I wanted to test out some some taunt taunt stacking. Uh, I don't know where I can test this out. I think I need some monsters with no resistance. So we'll go into Star Sync, or it's not Star Sync. Uh, Star Starstone Dungeon, and let's see if I can I can get a taunter somewhere. Some something that has taunt. Dang, I have no taunters. I just realized I have no taunt monsters at all. Wonder if anyone else has some taunt monsters. Actually, wait, no, I can't test that out. Oh, wait, no, I only need one run with a taunt monster to make this work. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'll feed some fruits to my water Leo so he can at least survive one hit. And then we'll go into like B1 or something, alright? This guy. Uh, we'll give him, yeah, we'll just give him some fruits so he can like get to like level 20 or something. Okay, that's good enough. Then we'll go into B1. We'll, we'll try this out. Oh, wait, B1 might be too squishy. Uh,. B four. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use someone with attack down, um, at least someone with some reliable attack downs. I want to see if taunt stacks with attack down, basically. So I'll use the HP lead, so it's harder for people to die, and I'll use someone with a hundred percent attack down. Um, come on, where is it? like disappeared looking for that water gatito I don't think I raised him I think he's only at three stars come on come out come out motherfucker okay we'll use this um I still want to put him in though where, where the hell is he I might have missed him. I'm, I'm probably like scrolling by him like six, six, seven times, and not even noticing. 
Okay, I give up. Uh, where's where's that Leo? Wait, I have a four star max level Gatito. Oh wait, he's five star max level already. I thought he was only three stars. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna use this team, okay? Okay, so the test is basically I want it. I want to taunt one of them to make sure he hits me, and then taunt should reduce attack, right? And then we'll we'll just like all focus this guy, and then we'll see how much damage he does to my Leo. So it's like 350 a hit or so. See if I can taunt him again. Okay, nice. I'm gonna put the attack down with my Killabat. What? Okay, there we go. Ooh, it does stack! Taunt stacks with attack down. All right. Uh, there's one more thing I want to use. I want to. I want to test out, and that is. Uh, I want one of the robots to hit my Leo, but I think they're gonna hit the Killabat, for sure. So we'll we'll just all focus this guy, so my Killabat actually dies. See if I can get a get a turn where the ro robot actually hits my Leo. Then we we'll see how much damage it does. I don't think it's going to hit my Leo. It's probably going to hit someone else. Maybe it'll hit my Leo. Nope, hit my Cupid. I'm too lazy to finish the run. Let's just uh, let's just try another run. And this time, this time I'll I'll only put in my Leo. But then he might get attacked too much. Um, I just want to I just want a clear view of when the robot attacks my Leo and then we can compare the damage without without anything. So I'll, I'll put in two units. This way there's like a 50-50 chance that he gets hit. Alright, the slime's gonna mix his damage in, but I want to see if the robot does... Oh, the robot didn't hit my Leo. Rip. Alright, let's see if he can hit my Leo now. Yeah, he does 500 a hit. So, Taunt actually reduces damage, but it also stacks with attack down. Meaning that if you want the boss to do even less damage, you need to have a Taunt on your team. So, Taunt is basically mandatory, I think, for... For uh, for Colossus, it like it's needed. You need to you need to taunt to make sure he does even less damage. I think that one of the problems is we I have no taunt. That's I'm, I'm missing one extra debuff for the boss. And I think if you're if you're able to like basically keep taunt on the boss, he's just going to be doing barely any damage to you. So um, hmm, need a lot of debuffers. Don't not a lot of room for. For other monsters, I think I have this, this light Miho sitting in storage. I think it's time to dust her off, skill her up to full, and uh, start using her. So she has she has sixty percent um, sixty percent taunt with with sixty percent, and then if you max skill her she gets a 80 percent taunt with an, with a 80 percent uh three turn attack down on aoe so that she's definitely like probably one of the best monsters for colossus probably i'm just theory crafting right now i have no idea um now i, th I think i need to raise the, the dark coco because the dark coco also has like a if you skill this up he gets a he gets an 80 percent attack down on first skill he gets a 80 percent three turn blind on his second skill so that's definitely really really nice um but yeah, I, th I probably need taunt, like at least one taunter on each each of my teams, basically. 
So Dang, I don't know which other Tarnar I should use. Maybe Water Leo might be a good unit. Because I can actually make an Evil 2 Leo, but I need to sacrifice one of my Wood Leos. Which I might be willing to do. Actually, I, I can. Since I I do have like two variant Leos. Um, what I can do is I can actually raise this Water Leo up to max. And then feed this Wood Leo into him. Yeah, there's a HP lead. It's a variant as well. And then this Fire Leo, and then I can make another Evil three, evil 2 here. Basically making him Evil 3, raising him to max level. Should definitely be really, really good. Um, Light Miho as well. Probably keep that Light Miho on my second team, so I can just basically pair up Water Leo with Light Miho. And... Who else? Who... I think, I think the way to clear through Colossus is to have, like, one taunt monster of every element. So, for... For uh, for water or for fire, I'll use water Leo. For wood, I think I need to raise a fire Victoria. I also have her in storage, but I I don't have enough Victorias to fuse, um, so that's that's definitely a problem. Uh, fire Victoria does have some very very nice taunts. Basically, if you get her to 100% crit, she has 100% taunt. You can also go with a fire Shelly. Fire Shelly also has a 100% taunt for two turns. Actually, I think raising a fire Shelly might be pretty good, just for the debuff. Stats are so bad though, look at this. But if you land this, you basically land like a two turn attack down on the boss. It's just that he's always going to get hit, but his, st his stats are kind of bad. I was thinking if you use the fire Victoria, you'd at least be able to, since you're putting like one crit rate gem on her, you'd at least be able to do a little bit of damage um, if you want a reliable taunt. It's hard to get reliable attack down. I think the only monster is like Water Gatito. It's got 100% attack down. Then I have some like nice monsters like Loki with a 3 turn attack down. And uh, there's no wood. There are no good wood taunters, like there's no wood monsters with first skill taunt, so you can't have a reliable taunt. Same with Dark. I think Light Miho is probably going to be one of the best monsters for uh, for Colossus because of her, her she, has, she has really nice stats to begin with, and she has like the perfect skill set basically, taunt and attack down. Pretty much can't get better than that. So I was thinking um, I can run... For one of my teams, I can run Loki lead, Light Miho, and I need a probably need a blind. I think blinds are actually really nice to, to have on the boss as well, but I don't have a lot of blind might be secondary. Maybe maybe light monkey could work. Like if on first turn you put attack down and, and taunt on him, he's already not gonna be doing too much damage. If he stack blind, he's just gonna be, gonna be not doing any damage. And then um, this guy's got Hunter. So basically, he's going to be a damage dealer, plus he when he gets his second skill up, he can put blind on the boss. And then for the last slot, I'll use like like a, a healer, like Light Siren or something for the shield. And then for second team, I think I'll, I can use something like Water um, water Leo to tank, and then, you know, Dark, Dark Indra, Dark Thor for the armor break. Wait, I have no armor break this way. No, I need a... Damn it! There's no. This isn't gonna work. I need armor break, or else I don't. I don't do any damage. Well, I could. I could go with Loki, like trying to attack down the boss and then send everybody. But I still need to taunt the boss on first turn, so I can only have two units hit the side units, and I still need to kill the side units relatively fast. Um. Before they get their debuffs up. What if I was thinking of a like this is all theory? I was thinking of a strategy where basically um, I put a suicide squad as my second team, and uh, for first team, like I'm just gonna basically have taunt, sustain, and everything to kill the boss. Like just basically slowly wear down the boss, and then for my second team, I make like a 
basically like a throwaway team that is like full nuke. And, um, you know, after first turn, I switch to my second team and I basically just kill all the side units. Just like nuke the two side units to death and then just have my other team, you know, finish off of the boss. I don't know if that's, that, that strategy would work. I don't know how tanky B10 is though. It might actually work. Let me let me try something. Let me. This is gonna be pretty dumb, but I'm gonna try it out. All right. I'll, I'll use B4 again um, since I have some fire nukers. Okay, so the strategy is put in put in hard hitting damage dealers. No, it would be preferable if they have like some damage modifier on first skill. And then, I should probably bring two armor break just in case. Alright, this guy's built full glass cannon as well. Alright, where's my dark Gatito? Oh wait, shit, I can't use, can't use both Gatitos. I can use Mona though. Yes, I can use Mona. It's gonna... Gotta hope she crits. This is my good Mona or my shitty Mona? Alright, this is the better Mona. Um, I mean, this is the first team. And then for second team, I'm gonna go like... I don't have any taunt right now. But, uh... You also don't have any attack down. Basically, this team is just gonna sustain and like you know kill the boss or something like that. I should actually use like a tanky snowy, but I think I don't need that right now. I'll go with. I think she's the only one that does any damage. I should actually put in a wild thing, but I don't have any any of them gemmed up. All right, this is just a test run. Okay, this is just this is just to to see if this works. Alright, this is uh This is Operation Suicide Squad, let's do this. Oh my god. Alright, fuck it, we're just gonna nuke it anyways. Okay, fuck armor break. We're <laughs> we're nuking it hard. Oh shit. I think this actually might be enough damage to kill it. Oh shit. Oh god, we're gonna have to kill it, kill it like this. All right, Katito's dead this turn. Mono's also dead. I'm gonna have to change teams. Maybe it's not that urgent. Maybe I can skip a, a turn. Like, what I can do is actually, um, first turn, like just put all the debuffs on the boss, like attack down blind, and then, and then like armor break the side unit. And then on the second, on the third turn, uh, and then have Taunt as well. And then on the third turn, I switch team, use the Suicide Squad, just like kill the side units, and then switch back. I don't know if I can make make it in time though. Is this strategy gonna work? Damn it, I still don't have a full bar. I think they're I think he's dead. Please live. Okay, nice. Oh shit, what? No, my siren died. Okay, the strat is not working. This is fucking retarded. Oh god. I'm fucking dumb. Okay, that uh Okay, Operation Suicide Squad's not gonna work. Um we're gonna, we're we're gonna have to plan some things. I, I need to I need to talk some people, you know, plan some teams, theory craft a bit before I can figure this out. But, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think that was that was pretty um, that was pretty fun, you know, being able to try out new content and stuff. I'm really really happy with the new patch. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.